Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I'm going to show you what I've been up to, so let's get started. Welcome back, guys. Okay, so today I'm going to make a mermaid book. And I went through my mixed media, and this is what, one of the pages that I had found that I had done with all the prompts. So I'm going to actually use this as the cover of the book. So all I did was kind of square it up and measure it and see what it is. So it's actually uh, 18 inches. So what I'm going to do is score seven and a half, seven and a half, and then the spine is going to be the three inches. So I'm going to do that now to show you from beginning to end what I do to decide how I'm going to do a junk journal. So first I'm deciding on the cover. So this is going to be the cover. I'm going to use my scoreboard. I have a scoreboard and I'm going to score it at seven and a half. And then we measure three inches for this for the spine, score it there, and then it, I'll be able to um, fold it and make it, you know, the start of the cover. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's get started. Okay. So I got my scoreboard. So all I'm going to do is measure over from zero to seven and a half. And then make my mark and then I'm going to move this over from the zero again and do the three inches doesn't have to be exact but close enough there's the three inches and then just double check from there from the zero to make sure it's seven and a half which it is so all I'm going to do is score that straight down and I'm going to have the front, the back and a spine from this mixed media. And I scored it on the back because it's easier to see. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay. So I scored it straight down. So this is seven and a half, seven and a half and three inch spine. So what I'm going to do is bend it slowly. And hopefully it won't crack, but if it does, that's okay. I'll always repair it later. So just slowly trying to work the paper and bending it on the score line. Just like that. And then this is going to be the cover. So that's what it looks like. Just like that. Now, if it does crack, it's okay because I'll use tape and and fabric and stuff to decorate the outside anyways. I'm not really too, too worried about it. So, I'm just working on the seam, trying to get it to flex. So, that's the start of the journal. Now we want to see how high we want it. So I'm going to pick out some papers. Okay. So what I've decided is I'm going to do seven by seven. Well, it's seven and a half wide, three inches for this, for the spine and then seven and a half inches. So I'm going to do seven high. So I took it to my scoreboard. I'm just going to go to the seven. I'm going to score it. And all I'm going to do is score it straight across. And then I'm just going to use my scissors and cut it. It doesn't have to be precise. Just, you know, as close as you can get it. So that's what I'm going to do. And then... Okay, guys. So what I have here is... Seven by seven and a half is this one. I'm probably going to just take it down the half inch and I'm going to do seven by seven. So this is going to be the first part of the book. And it's going to be three signatures. So 
that's what that one looks like and then the leftovers which is here I measured it in this is five by five so I'm going to do a smaller one too so that way there's no waste and it's really cute this has like a fish right in the middle and then there's a fish on the back it's perfectly placed so that's what this one will be looking like right there that's the spine and that's the back it'll be a chunky small journal and then this one it's a little bit long I think I'll trim it up as I go but it's this you know here's the front the spine and the back so I think that's a good size for the journal like I said if anything I'll take off a half an inch I'll make it seven by seven but pretty much that's the cover of the journal started so now what I do is I'm gonna go through all my papers and then decide what kind of papers I want as signatures I'm gonna do three signatures usually I do anywhere between 10 to 13 papers per signature for three signatures so that's what I'm gonna do okay guys so what I did was I picked out all different papers that I wanted for my signatures and then what I did was lay them all on the floor and then I just put them in an order which way I wanted them in each three piles and then deci decided which layer I wanted to do them so pretty much this is going to be one signature with all these colors and then that's signature number one and then this is going to be the middle signature so again I just pick different colors with water and different pretty colors so that's signature number two and then this is signature number three so again just pick different colors and just put them any way any direction you wanted there is 13 per per signature so now that i've picked out the colors and i've picked out how i want them to go what i'll do is i will start folding them and then placing them into the signet like creating the signature i'm going to make all three signatures pretty simple just take the paper and fold it in half as close as possible as you can and then just start creating your signatures Okay guys, so now I have my three signatures folded and ready. Now we know that that was 12 by 12, so folding it in half is six, which is fine. So the 12 up, I'm gonna cut it at the six and a half, which will give me a, a half an inch to either fold up at the bottom and make a little tuck pocket or at the top, vice versa, whichever way I decide once I get there. And then that will leave me at the top five and a half inches. And the five and a half is going to be perfect size for the five by five book. So I'm actually gonna get the three signatures for the one book and the three signatures for the second book. So it seems to be going along just fine. And of course, if it's a little bit off, I don't mind. And I'm going to use the half inch on the five or, or maybe one inch depending on how it fits. And I'll use that for the tuck of the top of the bottom of the second book. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down the signature to six and a half inches. So that's what I want from this one here. And then I'll be back. So really all I'm going to use is, um, I have a cutter, I'm just going to measure them 
probably a little bit at a time because my cutter doesn't do all of these pages at once. And then we'll go from there. I have cut these ones six and a half inches high. These ones were five and a half. So now this one, these ones are for the bigger book. So that's the three signatures for the three bigger for the bigger book. And here is the three signatures for the smaller book. So that way I didn't waste any paper, which makes me very happy. So these will obviously need to be trimmed in and trimmed down, but they will fit here so this will be for this book I'll have some flipping to do and tucking and whatever I want to do so that's for this book here and then these ones are for this book here and they'll fit right in there just like that so I killed two birds with one stone and I didn't waste much paper. I will trim some of them off. I will tuck some. I will make tucks and corners and different things with this book so that there's not much waste. And this one is perfect size. So this is seven by seven now. And it leaves just a little bit to play because as you, you know, it will get bigger and grow. So, so far that's everything that I've done to build this book. Now what we'll do is, we're just going to see if we want to do any flip ups or turnovers and I really don't think so. I can make my own tuck spots and corner pockets so I'm not really worried about turning the paper. Normally I do turn the paper but that's because I always have extra and I don't want to waste. There's nothing to waste here. So without a doubt, what I'm going to do now is just start measuring and then stringing the book together, sewing it together. So, so far this is what I've got. I also have to decide what I'm going to do on the inside. I preferably do this before I start sewing the signatures in. So I need to figure that out. So I'm still at that stage. And then the same with this one. So I'm actually making two journals at once, saving paper, time, and doing everything one step, just times it by two. So that's really, really cool. Now, the other thing that I did is I dug out stuff. I have this book. It is Just Beachy is what it's called, and it had mermaids and stuff in it. And I used a lot of these pages only paid $12 for this whole book. I used a lot of these pages in the books that I'm making now. The mermaid, the scales, you see that I've used a lot of these pages. I still have a lot more pages to use. So the good thing is, is that when I wanna cover something, some of the blank pages or use some of the book, I, could, I still have plenty left to use. Um, I have a sheet of plastic dug out so that um, that will be going with it. So at this point, I might take a break from this part and just cut down the trims and, and all the tucks that I found. These ones are water related. You know, I have all kinds of different things I want to cut out. So... I like to do that before I get started on any journal. I like to try to, you know, here's some more that I'm going to just cut out quickly and have them ready 
This actually might fit in the journal itself. If I fold it in half, I haven't decided. And uh, so just some, oops, it's very blurry. Hold on, let's see. I think it's because of the gold. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut all these out and get them all ready for the journal and then I put them all in a Ziploc so that I have them for when I wanna work on the journal. Like I said, I have other papers too that I had dug out, different papers from what I, you know, all the books I have. So if I wanna cover a couple white pages, I can because in each signature there's this white page. If I want to cover it with some other paper, I will because it's not double sided. So pretty much the signature is ready to go. You know, a couple little trims, a couple little tucks and stuff, but it's pretty much ready to go. And then I'll be working on it more. So right now I'm just going to do a quick cut up some of the images and stuff like that and get that ready for the book and then we will be on to part two which will be putting this the actual in finishing the inside and actually attaching the signatures in both books and then we will be decorating so that's what part we're at now okay guys thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and please hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I do an upload. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.